Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywood alongside Grant Robbins, coach of the uh, 40th ranked golf team here at the University of Memphis. And coach, uh, it, it's, it's pretty good being ranked right now. And uh, we, we talk about it every year at this time of year because of the weather. And it's so right. great, I know, for you guys to, again, for I guess it's got to be the third or fourth year, maybe a little bit longer, have that flawed golf center a chance right. now to be able to get in those heated bays when uh, when the weather's a little dicey. Right, right. Yeah, we're going on our fifth year with the flawed center. Um, it, very excited to have that. Obviously, the winter this this winter has been a tremendous challenge for us. So, um, we have spent lots and lots of time there preparing, and, and you know, it helped us um, going into our to our event this spring because we weren't able to prepare like we normally do mm -hmm. outside. So, um, the, the Flot Center was a huge help. Well, we can see the benefits, and and, and and going back to your most recent tournament, and that was down uh, the Auburn Invitational, where you finished fourth overall. I know you had to be pretty right. happy at the performance. Right? Yeah. It was, you know, anytime you can finish in the top five in a in a you know. Uh, a good tournament like that it's always good um you know i was a little disappointed because i thought i thought that we had a chance to, to play a little bit better um uh, we've, we've got a really good team this year really excited about the talent that we have um and, and we're really close we're, we're not clicking all cylinders yet but as i as i always tell them we want to peak in april and if we can just keep getting better and better each tournament i think we'll be in good shape for postseason let's talk about a couple of, uh, of your golfers individually first of all going back to auburn corey gaylord uh, finished ninth overall as your high finisher, and you talk about consistency in sports, right. and that's it's key in golf. Overall, three rounds shot of 215. He went 71, 71, 73. It's pretty straight across yeah. the board. I, I can't say enough about Corey Gaylord and how far he's come since he got here. Uh, just a, a tremendous player, uh, and more than that, it's just a tremendous person. He's a great leader, uh, a great student, and, and just to see his improvement from his freshman year to where he is now, uh, he's got a chance to be one of the best players in the country. He's only a junior. He's got another year. Uh, it's just a tremendous, tremendous talent. And I think he's starting to see how good he can mm -hmm. be. And uh, his work ethic's improved. And, and now he's starting to gain some confidence, you know, finishing top ten in a, in a field like that. Um, expect us really big things. I mean, he's, he's got a chance to be a really, really special player. Earlier this, uh, I guess, quote, unquote, spring down at, at, at South Florida is a little bit warmer down there. Will Pearson had an outstanding tournament, and he ended up being named the American Conference Golf right. Elite. Will, Will's just a solid player, very consistent. Um, and, you know, for him to, to go and shoot 64, um, that, was, that, was, that was huge for us. And that was his career low round. It's one of the lowest rounds we've had here in a while. Um, just shows what he can do, and, and for him to get recognized as Player of the Week is a good accomplishment. And you know he's a senior, and we're leader, lead, are leaning on his leadership this year. So I you know, just got to keep getting better. You talk about that senior Will Pearson. We mentioned the junior Corey Gaylord, but one of your freshmen really standing out right, right now, Lars Van Mayel, <clears throat> sitting 33rd overall. This is not 33rd among freshmen. 33rd yeah. in the NCAA right now. Right, right. Yeah, Lars is has had a tremendous year. Um, I, I knew as a talented player, um, I wasn't expecting the impact that he that he had. You know, that's a very very nice surprise for him to come in. And uh, the fall was is, was fantastic. He he won two two events and finished in top ten in the other events. Um, he's got he brings he brought with him just a tremendous amount of experience. He's played all over the world. Um, he competed as an amateur in a European Tour event in the fall. He actually missed our first event, so he can go back to Europe and compete um, in a professional event as an amateur. So he's already played against the best players in the world, and, and then that's carrying over. Um, he's struggling a little bit this spring, making the adjustment to the Bermuda grass that we pull it, that we see in the south. Um, he's not real used to that, so he's, he struggled a little bit with the putting. But um, as he gets used to that, as we get closer to postseason, um, you know, we're, we're going to see good things for him as well. His background then in international competitions got to got to give you a little uh, mm -hmm. sense of confidence because usually you don't want don't don't want to peak too early with a freshman. But since he's right. kind of been around been around the tours, uh, right. been around the block a couple times, yeah. he, he understands what it's going to take. Yeah, he's he's got he's got a great mindset. He's extremely competitive, and um, he's he's got a great work ethic and he's got a plan. He knows what he wants to do. Um, and he's very confident in himself, and, and those are the, the ingredients to be a, a, a good player. And you don't see that typically from a freshman, you know, that, that type of, of confidence. And um, you know, like I said, there's, there's some technical things that we're working on to get better. Um, he needs to make a few more putts, and once he does that, then he's going to be right back to where he was. Coach, uh, before we talk about your, your intercollegiate coming up in just a little less than two <clears throat> weeks uh, in the new conference this year, I know it's going to be right. a while you get to your American tournament and everything, but uh, – you guys, the coaches, look around the, the the conference and see what other teams are doing. What are right. your perceptions? What do you what do you think about the American this year and the it's, teams? It's one of the best conferences in college golf, and we don't get the recognition that we deserve. Uh, it's unbelievable what we're doing this year in golf. 
Uh, UCF is sixth in the country. Um, Houston has won three straight tournaments. They're ranked eighth in the country. Uh, SMU, South Florida, have been top 25 most of the year. Uh, we've been top 40 most of the year. So you got five teams right there that have been top 40. Um, there's I don't know of many other conferences that have, that have done that. Uh, Louisville's right there. Um, you know, and the Cincinnati's getting better. Uh, if there's a tremendous amount of depth uh, in the conference, but you know, to have two top 10 teams, two more top 25 teams, um, it's it's one of the best in the country. Sounds like it could be exciting once the NCAA's run around with, with this conference. You guys could have a lot of the American right. Conference athletes there. Right. Yeah. That's you know, that's that's the goal for all of us is to get to nationals, and it'd be great to see a conference team, you know come through with the national championship. Coach, uh, let's talk about that Memphis Center Collegiate I mentioned. It's going to start Monday, March 31st, or roll over to the next day, April 1st, that Tuesday out at Colonial uh, Country Club. You guys are obviously familiar with that, and it's it's always great to host the event. And I know uh, not just for the uh, to be on the course right. for the, the athletes, you guys get a lot of volunteer help. The community really comes together for this. Right. It's it's great to host an event. It's our only home game. Um, so it, gets a, it gives a chance for our supporters in town to come out and see the guys play. Uh, I would encourage everybody to, to come out and watch this because we've got a really talented group and um, it's it's a good event. It's always a colonial, so a fabulous golf course and a great place to host an event and we're really excited to, to defend our home turf. Tell us a little bit about the, the, the competition. Is it is it set right now? Are you still taking any teams? Who else is going to be no, there? No, we're set. Uh, it's going to be a competitive field. Um, a lot of teams from the southeast. We do have you know a couple of our conference schools. Um, you know, Cincinnati's coming in. but. Um, South Alabama is here. They have a really strong team. Austin P won our event last year. They're returning. Um, so it'll be a pretty competitive field. All right. Sounds good, Coach. Best of luck. All right. Thank you, Jeff. That is Grant Robbins. I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.